Hello. Welcome to my channel. In this lecture, we'll go over the decimate modifier. This modifier is used to reduce face and vertex count on your meshes. The decimate modifier can be used to reduce the polygon count for a performance increase or simply remove unnecessary vertices and edges. Let's press Shift A and add monkey head. Then, go to modifier menu and add subdivision modifier. Let's enter 2 in the levels viewport and apply subdivision modifier. Then, go to overlays menu and enable wireframe. Go to modifier menu and add decimate modifier. There are three modes in the decimate modifier. The first one is collapse mode. The collapse mode merges vertices together progressively taking the shape of the mesh into account. Now, the ratio option here left at 1 will leave your model as is. But as you lower this value, it's going to start decimating your mesh and removing faces to make it more optimized. Symmetry option here is extremely useful. Press 1 key to go to front view. As you have noticed, left side and right side of the monkey head has different topology. It means not symmetrical on the x-axis. If we enable symmetry option here, it will become symmetrical on the x-axis. You can apply this another axis also. You can get particular face count number right down here. It also includes quads and polygons as well as triangles. If you just need a triangle count, you can click on triangulate. It will triangulate your all faces. Vertex group controls what parts of the mesh are decimated. Let's go to edit mode. Now, click on object data properties. Let's select the half of the monkey head. But firstly, you have to go to X-ray mode to able to select all vertices. Press Alt-Z and go to X-ray mode. Select the vertices. Let's add new vertex group and name as half of the monkey. Press assign button. Then go back to object mode and go to modifier menu. Press Alt-Z again and go to solid view. Now, let's select the vertex group we have just assigned. As you lower the ratio, you will notice that only half of the monkey head decimate. Factor is the amount of influence the vertex group has on the decimation. But keep in mind, this really only has an impact on vertices that are in the vertex group with a weight less than 1. Let's go back to edit mode again. Click on Object Data Properties and decrease vertex group weight under 1 and press Assign button. Go back to Object Mode and change Factor Value. Now you can see how influence. The second decimate mode is Unsubdivide. It can be thought of as the reverse of Subdivide. It is useful for objects you've applied the subdivision surface modifier to and then you changed your mind. All we have to do, switch over to unsubdivide tab and increase the iterations. Iterations is the number of times to perform the unsubdivide operation. Here we go. The last decimate mode is planar. If we switch over the planar mode, it will create a single face from adjacent faces that have less than the specified angle in the angle limit. For example, if we increase this up to 10 now, all the faces that have an angle that's less than 10 degrees between them, they'll join together into one. If we enable all boundaries, all vertices along the boundaries of faces are dissolved. It takes a lot of 90 degree angles like this one here, and it creates a triangle there instead to just kind of give it a smoother topology. 
Delimit option prevents dissolving geometry in certain places. If we select the normal, it does not dissolve edges on the borders of areas where the face normals are reversed. Let's go to edit mode and select the right half of the monkey head. Don't forget switch over the X-ray mode. Then, press Alt N and click on flip. So the normals in the right side will face inward and left ones will face outward. If we enable the normal option, the edges that are at the boundary between those two sides won't get dissolved. If we select material option it doesn't dissolve edges on the borders of where different materials are assigned. Let's add different materials to our mesh and try material option. If we select seam option, it doesn't dissolve edges marked as seams. Let's go to edit mode and select the edge loop by pressing alt left click. Then, right click and mark seam. If we select sharp option, it doesn't dissolve edges marked as sharp. In the UV option, if you unwrap your object and you have multiple UV islands, then, the edges that are at the boundaries of those UV islands stay intact and don't get dissolved. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.